The recreation ground is accessed by the pedestrian gate to the right of the lodge. The main gates are locked, only allowing authorised vehicles access. Just inside on the right is a commemorative plaque to the athlete Walter Goodall George. The town is very proud of this famous figure from the past. The polyanthus are particularly splendid this year and add a welcome touch of colour to this area. Walking towards the pavilion, we pass an item of unusual play equipment. This water feature once stood in the centre of the square at the top of the high street, but it would be a traffic hazard now. I think the rollers are used on the bowling green, which is the next area of interest. The club was formed in 1914. The green certainly seems to have benefited from the mowing and rolling. I understand the model owl is to scare off any birds. There is quite a sizeable car park for the users of the different areas. We now walk towards the family inclusive sports area where there is room for several different sports and pastimes. Rugby is still played on the main field, but there are plans for the pitch to be recited to the nearby Potter's Field. I expect the shade from the trees will be very welcome on a hot day in the summer. To complete the fourth side of the ground, turn left as indicated. Follow the path between the field and the Glebe retirement bungalows on the right. Looking through the fence, we get a close-up of the tennis courts. At the exit of the Glebe into Anchor Road, bare left, and we are back in front of the lodge. The front gate has an attractive, ornate design. 
Re-entering the park, on the left is the toddler's play area and another for slightly older children. Some of the equipment is beyond me as to its use and there was no one around to show us. Hopefully the tennis courts will be used in the warmer weather. There is even a permanent table for table tennis, but one would need to bring one's own bat and balls. We hope you have enjoyed this trip around Calm's attractive recreation ground.